Joel Anderson here. And hello to all my contractor and tradesman professional type friends. I want to talk to you today about something that is uh, a very large concern for you and your company. And that is knowing all the facts before you get involved with a job. I'll give you a prime for instance. I get a phone call. You got to come out and help me. I got 100 and, well, actually it started out. I got 50 to 80 feet of specialized hand railing to put in on a platform. I said, okay, good, send me the prints. Well, I got the prints and it wasn't 50, 80, 100 feet. It was 185 linear feet. Uh, special attachments. Uh, nothing was flat. It's uh, all the railing was pre-made. I just was asked to come put it in an emergency type basis because they couldn't find anyone else. So uh, I I get there and there's 21 sections. All 21 sections have to be lined up down this 185 foot platform and uh, put in with drop anchors and countersunk screws and. You know, anybody who's done dropping anchors on a base plate, it, it's a very difficult thing to do with multiple holes. Uh, especially in concrete, your concrete drill bits walk and this and that, right? I mean, it could be done. It's not an impossible feat, but it takes a lot of extra care and time. So I get there and I find out that I got to drag the welder through a mud pit up and around and down and around and this and that. And it was not uh, the job that was represented to me. So consequently, I filed for a change, change order. Now I got it, uh, but that usually doesn't happen. Usually it is, look, you gave us a price, you're bound to that price, you do the job. Well, if you're on the job and you're all set up, you're kind of stuck and you're gonna lose whatever amount of money that you're gonna lose because you didn't have all the information for the job. I'll give you another example. A friend of mine owns a specialty wood company. He builds uh, furniture out of big slabs and you know trees out of the forest, special types and grades of tree and all this kind of thing. It, this kind of works very expensive. You, you could easily pay $2,000 for a single countertop about six feet long. Um, so he gets a call from a designer. He goes out to the house. He wants to make sure this thing is perfect. What it is is a little table that comes off the end of a countertop to the wall, right? He gets there and he wants to get this thing right. So he makes a pattern, makes a pattern, gets a $2,000 slab of wood, cuts the pattern, finishes it, goes to install it, and it doesn't fit. So he calls the designer and he says, well, what happened? And the designer says, well, you have, must have made the pattern wrong. So the guy, you know, he puts his tail between his legs and he goes, shit, how did I get that pattern so wrong? Right? So he, he thinks to himself, you know, I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't get that pattern so wrong. So I got to find out what's going on. So he calls the designer. The designer just stays on the topic of you screwed up, right? So he starts asking the questions of the other subs on the job. So he finally gets to the cabinet installer and the cabinet installer says, oh, the dishwasher came the wrong size. It was four inches too small. So we move the end cabinet to fit the dishwasher, which of course now made the space between the end of the cabinets and the wall four inches bigger. And this is why it didn't fit. So you got to really, really protect yourself. You got to keep your risk low. You have got to know every single detail and watch that job like a hawk because if you don't, chances are something's going to be evident in the prints or something's going to be changed that you weren't notified about. 
I mean, you got to really stay on this stuff like a bulldog because you're going to look like the bad guy. And we know that's not true. I could give you a hundred more examples of this, but I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm just going to tell you that you have to know all the criteria of the project. Not just yours, but anything that connects with yours. I hope you have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you again next time.